I'm going to show you how to log into your ISU G Suite account for the first time. G stands for Google. So www.google.com and you click on the top right where it says sign it with a blue box with white writing. Your email address is the first letter of your first name followed by your last name at is-ulm.de. You can change the language there other than English if you would like to. Next, click on the I so you can see your password you're going to type in for the first time. Everyone's password is the same format. So isulm123 exclamation mark. Two digits of your day of the month, of your date of birth, followed by the month, followed by the two digits of the year. Click next. As you're opening your account for the first time, this is just a disclaimer in terms and conditions. So you read it and when you're ready, you click accept. The first time you log into your account, you only have to do this once, it forces you to create a new password. Decide on which password you would like to use, type it in twice, exactly the same, and change your password. No one will have this password. Not even the IT department can see the password you've chosen. Remember to store the password somewhere safe. Once you're here, you can see the top right. So you can see that that is your account and if you click on Gmail, it will take you to your inbox. These are just helpful reminders, pointers to how you would like to set your inbox up. To personalize your account, you can change your picture. Find the picture you want, double click on it, wait for it to upload. At this stage, you can cut, crop the picture, selecting which features you want. And if at a later stage you decide you want to change your picture, you can do that at any time by clicking on the photo next to the icon. In this case, you may want to do that. To compose an email, top left, plus key. To send emails to fellow students, you can start typing their name and it will auto fill in the rest. Subject is what they will see when they first get the email. And once you're ready, send and the email's gone. To send emails to your teachers, teachers, First letter of their first name and a dot, their last name, at is-o.de. Humorous emails are very appreciated. It helps you compose an email in the best possible way to write it.
Now, if you click on the cross, it's saved in your drafts and you can go back and send it, edit it for later. If you have a mobile device, you can download the Gmail app and access all these emails from your mobile device by entering in the same credentials. That's your username and your new password. Clicking on the waffle line, the nine squares, gives you access to the other parts of Google. As well as Gmail, a very useful tool you will be using is Google Drive. This shows you how to make a new folder. You can organize your drive the best way to save your stuff. When you create a folder, to start off, it's empty and you can create new documents within this folder. You can rename the file anything you want. And then you can share it with your fellow pupils. This gives them edit, but you can just let them comment or view only. The user will get an email notifying them that they have had a file shared with them. You can also share by clicking on the file and the icon with a person and a little plus sign and share with more people if needed. And if you need to know who you shared it with, you can always check at certain times. and certain people you might not want to share it with at all. So if you change your mind, you can remove people and they can no longer see, edit or comment on your file. Calendar is something very useful You can create an event and you can invite other people to it. More options allows you to see it in a bigger screen. You can choose the start time, the end time, and you can even add a location. Once you save, it will prompt you to send an email automatically to the guests you've invited. If you want to see other people's calendars, you can search for their names like so. And if they've shared with, if allowed to sharing privileges, you'll be able to see them. Don't forget to regularly check your email And if you get unwanted email, you can always send it to spam. You can see that your guests have responded and accepted your invite to this event. 
And if someone sends you a dinner event you don't want to go to, you can just politely decline. If at any time you need help, go back through the video and pause it and you'll be able to see how to do these things. It will get easier as you continue with this. Send emails, you can see from there.